Yeah, good evening, Christopher. Now, I know you can't smell the food, but it smells so good. And I don't know if you can hear the music a little far off, but it has been going all day long. Now, organizers estimate 55,000 people attended last year's festival, and it keeps getting bigger every year. And those people coming from all over California and beyond. So it is truly a family reunion here. flying high, a showing of liberation for a festival that marks just that. We celebrate our independence and uh, for us, for Mexicans, they're celebrating our independence and liberation from the Spanish uh, uh, regime that we had in Mexico. Every year, El Grito brings tens of thousands to the streets of Salinas. It's a huge reunion for all of us. Obviously, it's a cultural and an important moment for our people, especially because we're, we live far away from our countries. I'm proud to be from Sonora, Mexico, Municipio de Cajeme, Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, and many communities from different parts of Mexico. They are happy, and I hope they let them know the leaders to thanks for celebrating our Independence Day here in the United States. to be American, but never forgetting where they come from as well. This is a hardworking community, only has Sundays off, and this is the time that we celebrate, the time that we do what we do, but when we come together with culture, food, uh, art, music, uh, it just brings us together. And because culture and history is better when you celebrate it together. Viva Mexico! Viva! Viva Mexico! Viva! Viva Mexico! Now, a guest of honor today was the Mexican consulate. He actually was a part of a special ceremony, part of which you just saw. And a lot of people said um, it felt like that gave them a little uh, special part of home. Christopher. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Sierra.